Well, I think it's in a lot better state than when I started, yes, no question about that. I, I was an undergraduate and a graduate student in Oxford in the 1950s, and this was the era of what is called ordinary language philosophy. That is, philosophers had got tired of the metaphys big metaphysical systems of the past, saying we do or we don't have free will, or that uh, um, there are really uh, souls and bodies or forms independent of matter and so on. And it says all of these things are unverifiable and so on. And uh, we, we ought to solve the problems of the past by just looking rather carefully about how words are used. And for example, we could solve the problem, the problem of free will if we just paid attention to the sort of things that we say are free. Somebody isn't free to do some act if they're locked in prison. Someone is free to do an act if nobody is twisting their arm and uh, they're capable of doing it. And if we sort out these various ways in which we use words, uh, there won't be any uh, philosophical problems left. Um, it's a bit of a caricature of what was going on in the 50s, but not much, and it was very much Oxford in the 1950s was very much dominated by J.L. Austin, whose philosophy this was. Well, it's under, an, undergone what is known as a metaphysical turn since then, in the late 60s and 70s, and people uh, are back to investigating the old problems that Plato investigated whether there are souls as well as bodies, whether everything is material, whether there are ethical truths, and so on. And I think that's progress.